versus UIU's Fergus. And this is a matchup. It's uh, a battle of one of Peru's best players versus probably the best player out of Ireland. Yeah, and like I said, I was telling me and Rickster was actually talking about this. We've seen uh, Fergus a lot this year. He's been traveling a lot, going to a lot of tournaments, getting a lot of experience, and always typically been one of the favorite players to make it, right? But now he's uh, he's in line to get the brunt, the most of those points, oh, yeah. just to, so he can go on to TWT finals, but he's he, still got his work cut out. He's back. trying to secure this spot. You know, he still has one more event coming up for the TWT, uh, TWT for him. He has the Berlin Tekken Clash that's yep. going to be coming up in just a few weeks. But here, he has already secured himself a good number of points, and he is not at the very bottom. He's, he's I feel like now that he's placed this high, he's no longer in danger of getting knocked out. But, I mean, that's just for this event. You know, it's going to change week by week. Here okay. we go. Starting off with a nice counter hit on the down two. Fergus should be able to get the wall. And Mysterio, he's been sticking Ow. to Kazumi. Kind of playing Kazumi like season one style. Still being very, very effective in the way that he plays. But right now, he's dealing with quite probably one of the best Oscar players in the world. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Uh, a committed Oscar player on top of that. Like I said, Fergus has definitely been putting in the legwork. But Mysterio has also been doing some legwork all day. Oh, yeah. Just I met mean, this man, and I'm already a fan. I mean, you think about it. You don't get to winner's top eight at a major tournament, especially a master level event on accident. You have to work for it. Ugh. If the wall's flat. Like the down 4-1. Fergus holding his ground. And that's one of the difference really between season one and season two. Kazumi is she can't abuse some of the strings that she was normally able to do. It's things like the one one using the down forward one. But now having to pick the shots more often and kind of, you know, make the commitments in what kind of offense you're going to pull out. And look at that, an impressive showing after that pretty much a blowout of the first round. I mean, it was a perfect, it was definitely a blowout. But like you said, man, I feel like it's like kind of a mixture, right? We say she can't abuse those strings anymore, but you see uh, Mysterio, he's not over committing. Oh, no. The minute he has, he's like, all right, 1-1. One, one. You know what? I don't have that property anymore. Let me back up a little bit. And I have to respect I it. feel like it's controlled because he's waiting for his opponent to react. He's been using Magic Force so mm -hmm. successfully throughout the entire day. The, the entire the day. The fact, too, as well, trying to keep him from moving. And, oh, Ooh, man, oh, nice. Fergus is on fire right now. I'm looking at how Fergus has been playing. You know, earlier on today, I'm not going to be shy. He was playing really bad. Uh -huh. But now he has really turned it up. He is in the winner's side top eight. He will secure a, a spot in winner's finals if he can win this set. And it's important from here on out because right now it's two out of three, but if he advances, he'll be able to go to three out of five. Will he have more of a chance to be able to adjust to a lot of the players and the play styles here at this event? Quite possibly his best showing on the TWT so oh, far. The counter especially Fergus. for a master event. Oh wow, that could have been dangerous. Breaks the throw. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, up all right. three. And we also talked about like Mysterio being one of the only people using normal throws. To Quite an effective, effect. yeah, I know, to that's what effect. I'm saying. Like, normal throw, what, what, why did I just get hit by that? It's the thing, it's, I feel like the rhythm of the players uh, here, uh, especially players like Mysterio, they have a different rhythm and a, a lot of what the players aren't used to. I mean, we saw some of America's best players go about it earlier. We saw Young Speed Kicks play against, uh, you know, and he, he, got, he got destroyed. Yeah. It was crazy to see that. Mm -hmm. I feel like the rhythm, I mean, Runner Black earlier played against Roy Nietzsche as well, and that was that was not pretty. And it was not pretty, and you could tell, and he was visibly shaking after that. He was yeah. like, man, I can't believe this dude beat me up like that. But with Warong. With Warong on top of that. But Oh, a switch. It looks like we're going to Mysterio's secondary character that we saw throughout the tournament as well, uh, Leo, and we're going to take this to the jungle as well. Welcome to the jungle. All right, I'm not, not going to do it. All right. All right, Fergus. Still has a chance there. Mysterio definitely not out of it either. Uh, made some really good adjustments now, in a few matches to make it this far, especially on winner's side. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not sure if this is true, but for all the master events on the Tekken World Tour, I think this might be Europe's first winner's side top eight placing. I mean, I think you're right, actually. I mean, I would love to get a, a fact check on that, but I'm pretty sure you're correct. I'm sure someone on the internet will, and they'll, they'll let us know. They'll t my phone will light up, and I'll see it. But <laughs> oh, either way, nice a block. great job from uh, both of these players so far. Oh, oh, nice. He went for the counter hit. They traded. Oh, wow. Okay, that's not too much damage, but a nice oh. chunk. That's a lot of damage, though. Oh, and the toe punch. And the follow-up. And look at that. Fergus, again, making right decisions. When he needs to, not whiffing, making sure that his hits count. All right, the back three. Nice whiff punish there from Mysterio. Get yeah, it down 4-2. Definitely going to get the wall. Leo has really good wall carry. Goes for the shoulder. Still controlling the pacing there, but a big counter hit knee. Here's the follow-up with the combo. Sidewall stun misses the advance. His success with that knee, finding the counter hit, and just getting clean hits has been really good. A new setup I've really seen him getting used to. Oh, get off. Tries to go for the power crush. Still not ready. Asuka's in trouble right now. 
down four. Goes nice. for the big track and think he was gonna sidestep. Tries to go for a sidestep two of his own. Did not commit, could have ended it right there. Has another opportunity, but again, you gotta be careful. So when Asuka is in rage, when she is glowing red, there is a high chance that you could be dead the next time she touches mm -hmm. you. Just that, that scaling, that damage she gets from the opportunity with the rage drive is just something that you have to watch out for. Especially when she has so many opportunities to get you in the air. There's a can can get counter hit. Gonna break the balcony. Uh, 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 uh. No. Oh, doesn't get it. A little bit too low. Doesn't have that same property. Uh. Oh man, the flip over. Okay. Looking to close it out. We're going downstairs. Has rage as well. This oh, could be really act, good. She can actually die. Oh yeah, from the wall. Uh -huh. Make the right decision. Here it goes. Uh, 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 uh. Oh god, it's not alive. enough. Okay, okay. I definitely thought she was dead. Round oh yeah, Mysterio definitely needs this. Fight. Has a good opportunity. Up two rounds to one here, looking to tie it up. Same situation from from before. Back dash down four two gets the wall. All right, gotta be careful going the other way. Oh, goes for the up four three. Nice slow parry from Fergus. Down four one to get that combo tailspin with the two one twelve and the break. Doesn't get the second hit follow up, but it doesn't matter. Still good on position. Oh great, Ooh, the low parry wow. and presence of mind here. Now Mysterio is gonna make the adjustment here for the wall combo. Okay, spring kick. Oh, counter hit, that is going that, to hurt. That is going to hurt big time. And oh, the re-splat. Re wow, look at the damage. But Mysterio is in rage now. Into the grab. No break. Normalization. Ooh, dripping with the blue stuff. Danny Puck. Yeah, he got the drive, and he was able to tie it up. Look at that one match apiece now. And it's, not, and it's now coming down to this, a final match between these two. We're going to find out which of these two players will be making it to our winner's finals. I'm not going to character select. Fergus, still looking really good though. That Leo switch, just a little hiccup, a bump in the road. But Mysterio, he's trying to make that a permanent error. He's trying to move on in this winner's finals. And Arctic Snowfall, wow. Okay, this is, uh, this is gonna kinda even the play field for both of these guys right now. No walls, that means less damage on the side of Leo. Less damage on the side of Asuka as well, but she still has a lot of damage mid-screen that she can do, so I feel like it's slightly in her favor. Yeah, especially towards the end of the round. That's going to be the key. You know, when she, like I said, when she has access to that Rage Drive, just any launch and the follow-up just, just does so much damage. Not only that, it gives her great Oki position after it hits, in case they're still alive. So a battle between Peru's finest versus Ireland's finest as well. Oh, a nice break there on the wrist chuck slam. Oh, wow, once again. Ready with the down four two. And like I said, that's what I meant. That damage severely scaled because there are no walls. All right, the beat down punch. Looking for opportunities now. You see Fergus starting to go with more of the low pokes now in the matchup. Mm -hmm. he, he notices that my, uh, Mysterio is actually backdashing a lot. So making him commit with uh, committing with tracking moves after the block, nice reversal. One of the oldest tricks in the book. Oh, oh, he got it. Oh, he dropped the combo. Didn't get what he wanted. I wasn't sure if he was going for a wall standing four I'm or not what. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Oh, good block and a great there punch with the wild is. standing attack. Oh, man, that was clutch. If Fergus didn't block that, he would have been dead. Great presence again. Nice. Goes for the back three and a nice attack there from Mysterio. Kind of covering his tracks. Uh-huh. And again, using those lows to his advantage. Oh, chicken. chicken was ready for it. this pressure and they're playing at such a range where either one can come out on top yeah and it's, it's because like mysterio is back dashing and punishing a lot of ferguson's whiff moves yeah i have a feeling ferguson is going to start trying to sidestep i mean the, the way that mysterio is playing he's going in and he's going out yeah he's jetting he, in and out but he's been looking for the sidestep a lot of tracking moves coming from the side of leo that's what's making him go to that back forward move yeah and i, I think movement alone is not going to do it i think ferguson's going to have to make commitments here if he's going to sidestep he's going to have to go in with an attack as well and we'll see if that's going to be enough right now. A life lead for Mysterio, looking to get the, the, the round advantage here. Oh, what down four, two, threading Trying the needle. Trying to get out of there. Trying yep. to get away. And that's what got a clip. But it's not over yet. We'll see what happens here. Oh, Ooh. a running kick. And look at that Mysterio looking really good right now. One round away from moving on to our winner's final. Oh, the counter hit still gets the three ring circus on the follow up. Not a lot of damage. Man, that was a great a trade, try. though. Mm hmm. Uh oh, oh what's a you try to, You can't nip my ankles. Not today. Mysterio ready for that with that down forward too. Fergus in trouble right now. He needs this round to stay alive in this set. And to stay alive on the winner's side. I feel like that might not be a chief. Down two is not doing Oh my oh, gosh, that another mid attack. Though. I wouldn't put him in rage. I definitely would just let him survive. Uh-oh, but he's he's committing. He's going in for the kill. 
Now, what's he going to do here? Again, going with the mids. Down to his block. Nice, nice punish. Oh, there we here go. we go. Final, final round between these two. Every match has been going to final, final round. That is a byproduct, my friend, of good ass tech. And yeah, this is true. This is true. It says it on the label. The Surgeon General's warning, right? Yeah. Again, using that kick to his advantage. A big counter hit. Two, gets one, the follow up. Now, what's he going to do? Here, this is going to be big because one more hit can put him into the red. Oh no, he's whittling away. It's looking really good for Fergus right now. Ooh. One more hit, and, and there that he gets will it! will be that. Fergus moving on. Mysterio still alive on the loser's side, but you know he wanted to keep that winner's side uh, streak alive. Man.